Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about double-coated dogs and why they shouldn't be shaved. Do please take a time to read the text in the first image, but we won't be doing that at the moment. There are several risks involved with shaving double-coated dogs. As you can see from the photos of the Pomeranian, as well as Lolly, the Border Collie, these dogs are ex experiencing what's called post-clippering alopecia, and their coat is not regrowing properly. Now notice I said risks. It is not a guarantee. It is not a promise. It is a risk. And you are running the risk with every single time you clip your dog. Some of the risks that you're running are cosmetic as well as health. We'll start with a few of the cosmetic risks. Minimum to major damage of the coat. Minimum can be slight drying. Major can be all the way up to what's called post-clippering alopecia. That can be so extreme that the coat completely stops growing. You can cause dry skin. There can be a complete texture change of the coat. There can even be a complete color change of the coat. Some of the health complications that can be caused. Complete loss of insulation. That can also be part of the post-clippering alopecia where part or even whole of the coat does not regrow. You can cause skin issues that can become chronic. You are exposing skin that is not meant to be exposed. Most double-coated dogs do not have any melanin in the skin, meaning they have white or pink skin. Because of this, they don't have any protection in their skin for the sun, and they can easily be sunburned severely. I have seen sunburn so bad on dogs that they are permanently scarred because of the sunburn. Some dogs can experience heat stroke, heat exhaustion, and overheating because their fur and their coat actually helps if maintained properly it actually helps to regulate their body temperature and when suddenly t stripped which is common in double coated dogs when they're shaved it's stripped short when it is suddenly stripped short like that it can actually cause them to lose the ability to regulate their body temperature normally Lolly here, unfortunately, was shaved by another groomer. We are working hard to restore her coat. There are some things that you can do to try to restore a dog's coat that has been damaged by shaving. It is not a guarantee, and it can be a long process. But it is possible in some cases. With Lolly, she is going through the process. She is on a high quality diet and she sees me regularly for deep conditioning treatments and thorough brush outs to try to restore her coat. Like I said, it's not a guarantee, but we have made progress. She sees me regularly. I've taught her owner how to properly brush her, the deep conditioning treatments that she receives from me to moisturize her coat, thorough blowouts to remove as much shed hair as possible, thorough brush outs to make sure there are no tangles, knots, mats, de debris, anything stuck in her coat. Her owner is, does the same at home as well on a regular basis. She is also on 
extra supplements with the essential omegas, the three and six fatty acids, as well as joint supplements, because she is a senior dog with some thyroid and autoimmune issues going on, which do not help her case for trying to regrow her coat. But we're trying and we have made some great progress. It's going to be a long road, but we're getting there. In this section of the video, you can see a significant change in the length of hair and regrowth between the side of her body and the bottom and undercarriage of her body. Unfortunately, this is associated with the post clippering alopecia where you'll have different rates of hair growth. And this is pretty common with when you shave double coated dogs and they experience issues with regrowth. You can also notice and, and see when I move my force dryer hose up um, towards her shoulder, you can also see where um, the hair parts and what I was talking about with white or pink skin. So I have mentioned it quickly, and I'd like to discuss it a little bit further. There are some ways that you can try to restore a coat that has been damaged by clipping. Notice I said try, because unfortunately, just as it is a risk and not a guarantee, that these things can happen with clipping double coated dogs. It is also a chance that trying these things may work. They also may not work. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into whether your dog will have these issues when you shave them. There are a lot of factors that will go into whether your dog whether you will be able to restore your dog's coat if you do have these issues. Um, one of those factors on both sides of the equation is age. Um, underlying health issues, whether you know about them or not. Um, you know, genetic issues, autoimmune issues, I mean, there are a ton of factors that can play a part in whether your dog has any issues with being shaved or not, as well as whether your dog is going to be able to, your, your dog's coat is going to be able to be recovered or not. Um, but these are some things that you could potentially try. Um, if your dog is not already on a high quality diet, that is something you could try. Um, added nutrients overall is always best for your dog if you're not already feeding a high quality diet. Uh, you could try adding extra omegas. Um, the, the three and six fatty acids are great for um, skin and coat, hip and joint. Um, if you're concerned about any of this, you could always absolutely run any changes that you want to make for your dog by your vet, which I would recommend anyways. Um, the essential omegas which are the three and six fatty acids um, are a great addition 
for any dog that might be experiencing dry skin issues, um, dry hair issues, dry brittle nails, um, any of those issues could benefit potentially from adding some extra omegas, essential omegas to the diet. Um, of course, you could always run that by your vet um, and get their opinion. Uh, but essential omegas are a building foundation for skin and coat. So that would not technically be an issue unless your dog has other health issues um, that need to be addressed or other concerns. Another way that you can work on restoring your dog's coat if they've already experienced coat damage from shaving is to brush regularly at home. I know I say this a lot, but brushing properly all the way from the skin out, and if you check out my at-home care video, I actually show you how to do that and which brush works best for that, a good slicker brush, um, will work best on almost all double-coated dogs. Um, brushing properly with that technique will actually help to stimulate the hair follicle itself while completely separating the hair individually. And the reason you want to do that is because the guard hair, which is the longer, finer, um, silkier hair, grows slower than the undercoat, that's that cottony hair. So as the hair is growing at two different rates, the undercoat grows faster and it grows more in a... Um, Think of a cotton ball. If you were to unroll a cotton ball, if you don't brush regularly and separate that undercoat as it grows, it will mat together like a cotton ball, like an unrolled cotton ball. And the guard hair that grows slower is trying to come through that, and it can't. So then it starts to mat together. So if you're not brushing regularly and separating all of that hair individually and brushing from the skin out to make sure that you're stimulating the hair follicles and giving the skin and stimulating the skin and giving the skin proper airflow and breaking the hair apart or not breaking the hair but actually making sure that the hair has been completely separated as it regrows it will completely create a carpet and then you will find yourself in a vicious cycle to where you will keep having to shave your dog because it it will just continue to mat and grow a carpet instead of regrowing a coat. And unfortunately, that is quite common, and I find that quite often. That's why regular grooming and regularly brushing, not just once a month, once every six weeks or eight weeks at the groomer, but brushing regularly a couple times a week minimum when you're trying to restore your dog's coat if, if they've experienced coat damage is so essential. You have to separate that undercoat and make sure that it's completely separated so that the guard care can come through and it can be straightened out and it can regrow and you're stimulating the skin and stimulating the hair follicles for proper regrowth. So I hope I've explained why I am against shaving double-coated dogs. These are risks that are involved. I'm not saying it is a guarantee because it's not. 
Hope I've given you some options if your dog is experiencing some of these issues that you can try to restore your dog's coat. As with anything else concerning dogs, if you have any questions, please consult your vet. Now, I'm not saying that no dog, double-coated dog, should ever be shaved in any circumstance. If the dog is severely matted and it is safer to go ahead and shave, then in that case, by all means, for the safety of the dog, if the matting is so severe, then yes, start over. Take the steps to try to ensure your best chance at healthy regrowth but those those are far and few between so I hope I've explained my stance I hope I've given you some options if you've been one to have shaved your dog and I hope I've given you another look to a second option for a healthier dog Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.